a carrier culture. This is something that uh, was talked about at the recent Fleet Safety Council conference back in October of last year, so it's been a while. And uh, one of the things that we talk a lot about here on the show, I talked with Al Goodhall about that, I've talked about many of the drivers about that, about what they should be looking for, what people look for, and how you choose the right carrier. And it's getting really important now as um, recruiting and retention are top in the industry, uh, then this is a lot of stuff that people are looking for right now. So th they had a best practices panel that was part of this whole presentation at the Fleet Safety Council conference. It had some of the biggest uh, carriers in the, in the area here, like Challenger Motor Freight, Transpo, uh, Crisca. There was a number of, uh, a number of uh, people on the panel. But what I really found out about it was that they were really looking at how the at, at being part of the team and not just being management against drivers. And we've always had that, right? It's always us against them. That's how this kind of works. And so some of the things that we talked about were, uh, or that was mentioned was uh, that most of the carriers are now looking to get involved. And I thought one of the biggest things was Transpro. So uh, the person on, on the panel for Transpro was saying, you know what? They had a load that was uh, somebody called in their network. It wasn't even their load. It was a, a kind of another company that's a associated with them and they needed help apparently it was uh, a refrigerated load that was going to they had problems with the trailer they it needed to be offloaded and there was nobody else to do it and they it was in their kind of their yard and the management team with some drivers and some maintenance people went and offloaded that uh, load and it was it was amazing because the story was that um, you know, a couple people went out and said they would do it. And then as people saw them, more and more got involved. And these are not people that normally do this. First of all, they're, they're people who don't normally even touch the freight or go outside and work with the trucks. This was office staff that got out there and unloaded that load and then maintenance people and, uh, you know, a couple drivers that were around. And it was just a really team effort. And they all felt so good after doing that. They saved the load. They made that customer happy or the other company happy and uh, had to re and improve their teamwork of their culture and that's the kind of carrier you want to work with somebody who's willing to get in there and get their hands dirty once in a while to make things happen so that was really uh, really good um, advice from there a lot of companies now are recognizing top drivers so they're looking for ways to recognize top drivers to help improve not only the profile of the company but also improve the profile of the drivers so these drivers are feeling recognized and can now take it uh, to where maybe they can use those certificates or whatever it is to uh, add to their resume for the future.